Hey guys, this is Revo here. Just uh, making a video about useful console commands in Dota 2. I was on gosugamers.net uh, today and uh, I found an article, actually a post, about console commands that make a really big difference in your gameplay, so I thought I'd uh, make a video and share them with you. Uh, I will provide a link to that uh, in the description. Uh, so first thing before I show you guys the cool commands, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your Steam, go to your library, go to your Dota 2, and then go to properties, and then you're going to want to go to set launch options, and then type in dash console, like so. Okay, if you don't do that, your console will not be accessible in the Dota 2 client, so you're going to want to do that first, okay? All right, so in here, in a, here in a second, I will pull up uh, Dota 2 and... Ch okay, so to fiddle with your commands, you're probably going to want to make a practice game. Uh, to access your console, you want to hit, for those of you who played Counter-Strike or any sort of source game, and, and you probably already know about the console, but some people might not to access. Uh, the default is the little squiggly line uh, next to the one on your keyboard. So that brings up the console there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a practice match. So I'm gonna go to Create Lobby, Edit Settings. I always enable cheats, because I'm gonna want to level my guy up a bit uh, to show you guys, uh, actually, to be able to show you the commands efficiently, I'll have to have a hero with uh, a few levels, okay? So hit Enable and Cheats, uh, Save Settings, and then create the lobby. Join a slot and start the game. Alright, so just a second here. All pick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just choose Alchemist. Get going. Alchemist! And I'm going to in order to show you, you're gonna want to well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in level Prepare up, and I'm going to do 25, it's going to level my guy up. Better living through alchemy! Abilities, add some stats in there, okay, and then I'll type in WTF, just for the sake of... I'm going to run up here in mid. Say hello to the nice people. Eh, he's shy. Okay. So one of the more useful commands that I found that I was really actually surprised to see and I was happy to see because I was I was curious about it myself is um, uh, one that allows you to know exactly how far your cast range is. Okay, so what you want to do is hit the squiggly button to bring up your console right next to the one. And you're going to want to type in Dota, Disable, Range, Finder, and you're going to want to put a zero as the numerical value, okay? Oh, it looks like I messed that up. Disable, Range, Finder, and then zero. Yep, there we the go. The battle begins. Looks like I typed finger instead and of Finder. We're there we go. Off. So then what that does is if you hover over an, an ability it gives you the kind of the cast range now that's nice and everything but when you're in a team fight you can't really be checking your cast ranges like that so what this does is it allows you when you click the ability uh, it actually gives you this you see this green arrow okay now that gives you you see how there it turns red when you move it too far away that gives you an accurate kind of distance that you're gonna need to travel in order to uh, cast that ability okay and that I found was was, was really nice because it kind of if you need to stay out of a team fight or you need to stay uh, be as far away from harm as possible this will really kind of show you how to do that Don't so make me go there. I mean, this is only one spell example but as you can see let's say I wanted to cast it over here you can see there's a, a giant red My line there friend wants a word and with until you. I close in on that red line and Get in the cast range, up your armor. I won't be able to cast it, but that's nice because it uh, it shows you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So the other command. What the? There's some other commands here. Let's see. 
Okay, so this command here is about health bars. So if you type Dota underscore health bars and you do one, yeah, dude. Dota, actually, excuse me, Dota, H-U-D, health bars, one. Uh, it'll actually go ahead and smooth out your health bar so it looks like this. As you can see, there's no incremental values in the health bar anymore. And uh, yeah, some people like it that way. Um, before default actually shows you increments of, of I believe, 250 uh, hit points. So uh, yeah, some people like to see their, their health bars that way, or you can adjust incrementally. There is a command for that as well. Let's see. OK, so then to adjust the increments, what you want to do is go into your console. Let's see. OK, and you're going to want to type in Dota health per vertical underscore marker and you can choose how many hit points you want uh, to do it by. What I, I tried earlier was a hundred. Okay. And it looks like it didn't work. Let's see. Let's change the previous command to make sure that that one is working properly. Okay, Dota, HUD, health bars, Let's do three. Okay. So as you can see, if you type in the, uh, the Dota HUD health bars three, it uh, adds incremental values. And as you can see, I've got 1800 health, so it has 18 little 100 HP bars because I typed in uh, the Dota health per vertical marker 100. Okay, now you can go ahead and type in, let's say 500. Now you can see there's approximately five of them, or excuse me, I can do math, four of them. Uh, one's a little bit shorter because they are in, now in increments of 500. Okay, you can have fun with that or you can just keep it uh, keep it static uh, with no increments. It's up to you. Um, the, the, final one, the final console command that I thought was the most valuable is the attack, is the deny is under attack. right click. Okay, if you're wondering what that is, I'm going to show you right now. So what you do is you type in Dota player unit auto attack and then you type in zero. Okay, let's let's try that again. Dota player units auto attack zero. There we go. Okay, and what that's gonna do is gonna allow you to right click deny. I'll repeat that one more time. Right click deny. So in the same form that you can animation cancel to do last hits, you can actually do the same exact thing with denies, which totally cuts out uh, what I was originally doing, which was um, clicking A to deny and clicking, well, with with uh, last hitting the enemy creeps, I just you know, animation yeah. cancel like normal. But when you had to deny, you ha if you didn't have this uh, console command typed in, you have to click A and then click on the like so. But now all you have to do is right click animation cancel and boom. It's, it's really quite efficient and you'll find you'll mostly it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you'll probably find you're going to be getting a lot more denies in your game because you don't have to try as hard to get them. Okay, so like this creep right here is getting low. I'm going to simply right click it, boom, deny. Didn't have to click A or anything like that. Okay? Anyways, that, uh, that is going to conclude the console commands I'm going to go over in this video. But I uh, hope that you guys found this information useful. And if you did, go ahead and like the video or uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I'm probably going to be doing more videos um, in, at a later date. Probably going to do like a Pudge video. Probably next. But we'll see. Alright guys, I'll see you later.